4th of July is just days away. And today we're going to be setting up this simple table. I've got free printables for all of the paper products that you see here. Plus I'm gonna show you how to put together that fun snack board. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Beth Campbell, the content creator here at Southern Meets Mennonite, and I have my three girls with me today. This is Cortland, Ansley, and Anna Kate. Let's go ahead and get started on building our board. Before we start building our board, I'll give you a little overview here. Starting with the tray, I like to use something with sides, and because this isn't technically food safe, I just lined it with parchment paper down below. I like to lay out my bowls first because that just helps me make it eye appealing. I'm using some ramekins that I found at Dollar Tree, a nice accent bowl, and those bowls in the back I had already had from Walmart. So I just like to arrange those on the board, like I said, and then I fill it in with the little pieces. Now here's a little look at everything that we'll be putting on our board today. It's mostly all store-bought with the exception of a few things that I had on hand. Now here's the meat and cheese that I've used. Keep in mind, this is gonna be the most likely expensive item on your board. So I kept it simple with some sharp cheddar, mozzarella pearls, and some spreadable brie, as well as that variety pack of meat there, which was super cheap. So I'm just going to take these pearls and I'm gonna take some basil pesto that I had in the freezer. You can pick this up jarred. And again, this is totally optional. I just wanted to add some color and some flavor to the board. Just a couple spoonfuls is all you need. Stir it around and let it sit and you can load it up on the board. Next, you wanna have a good lineup of some salty things. I've got chips, popcorn, crackers, and nuts. I wasn't able to fit the chips on, but you totally can do that instead of any of these other items. I just picked up my favorite crackers and some good flavors, some almonds, and I've got a jar of salsa that I had on hand, but feel free to get any kind of dip that looks good to go with any of your salty stuff. Now because we're giving this board a patriotic theme, I've chosen red and blue things. So my veggies, I'm going with some nice grape tomatoes and I'm gonna be using those red sweet peppers. Same thing for the fruit here. I've got some black grapes, some blueberries down there that's soaking in water because they were frozen previously and some nice ripe fresh strawberries. And last but not least, I've got some fun candy and sweet things to add in. I picked up some of those frosted pretzels from Walmart and then later left them in the car um, and they melted. So they're a little bit stuck together, but I still just used them and broke them apart. I've got some Twizzlers and these sweet little berries that I picked up both at the Dollar Tree. These are super fun and I thought they'd look really nice on the board. All right, now that I've showed you everything that's going in, we'll go ahead and start assembling. So again, like I said, there's no hard and fast rules for this. Do what you like, pick what you like, and arrange it how you think looks good. I like to work with odd numbers, particularly in groups of three. I just think it looks the most aesthetically pleasing and you can arrange it easier. So if you watch, that's all I'm doing is just arranging this in groups of three according to color, size, and shape. I mentioned this before, but it does bear repeating. Arrange your big items first. Things like your cheeses and your bowls and your meats. I always like to do that first, and then I can go back with the little things and just fill in all the spaces.
And here's a little look at what was happening behind the scenes. Cortland went into the pantry and dumped almost an entire box of Cheerios out and then was her own human vacuum to clean them up. But we just kept going and I figured I would just clean up the mess when it was all over. Just a little tip, when you're working with kids, expect that. Expect chaos, expect mess, let go of your perfectionism and just clean it all up when it's over. Messes always clean up. And these little things that you're teaching them, they're gonna carry with them forever in the years to come. And we are done. These food boards and trays are so fun to make y'all. And I just think it makes such a statement. I love serving these because people just gather around and keep picking and eating and picking and eating. And it invites great conversation at get togethers. Moving on to our printables today. Now don't forget you can go to the blog at southernmeetsmennonite.com and get all of these for free. I'm giving you popcorn boxes that will cut and fold in just a moment, an 8x10 printable, and these cute little circle labels. Now the large 8x10 printable has the cut guides on the side so you can use scissors or a long arm cutter and cut that out and stick it in a frame. Now I'm just grabbing some scissors and I'm going to go ahead and cut out the labels that I want. I give you a variety here. I even left some blank if you want to use them for your board or anything and write the type of cheese or food. I'm showing you the popcorn box here. You can cut it out with the scallop edge on top or you can make it straight. Just don't cut those black dotted lines. Those are fold lines. Those aren't cut lines. So just cut around that colored edge. And now to assemble our popcorn box, you'll just wanna make nice folds along those dotted lines, being careful to fold down those tabs nice and straight. And once everything is folded, I'm just gonna grab some of my Tombow adhesive. This is great if you're a paper crafter. You just put a little tiny line on, less is more here, and if you let it sit for a few seconds, it gets nice and tacky and sticks right away. I'm only putting adhesive on the tabs. That's the only part you need to glue together. So what I do is I attach all the sides to those bottom tabs, and then that last one, when I attach it to the bottom, I tuck in the side flap as well. Give it a good squeeze and let it sit for a few minutes to dry before you start filling it with anything inside. And now to attach these labels, I've made them the right size to go on the front of the boxes. So I'm using a three dimensional sticker. You can just use regular tape, but it does give a cool little finish to have that sticking up from the box. I'm gonna fill it with some crinkle paper that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I keep this on hand a lot and I visited the fireworks stand and I just grabbed some sparklers, some snappers, and I also picked up glow sticks and bubbles for the little people. Now here I'm showing you an alternate idea that if you didn't want to fill this with fireworks or toys, you could use it for popcorn or peanuts and make your table so cute. Here's my finished product with all the fireworks and goodies for the kids. This is going to be so fun and I can also bring it along to the tailgate for the fireworks show. Now if you wanted to add a little pizzazz to your board, you can use those same circle labels. I just attach them to toothpicks with washi tape. Super simple, spread them out on the board. Don't forget I included blank ones if you wanna write any names of what you're serving in there too. 
So here's a final look at all of this together. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. You'll see my big 8x10 printable in the back, some straws I picked up from Dollar Tree, the plates and napkins are Pioneer Woman from Walmart, and that easy centerpiece is three star balloons, three pinwheels, and a burlap bow all from Dollar Tree just stuck in a metal vase. On the front, I have a bunting. It's made of burlap, and I also picked that up from Walmart, too. So this is really easy, really quick to throw together, guys. I hope you like the end result as much as I did, and I hope you enjoy celebrating with your friends and family. That's it for today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, do me a favor, hit that like button, and then go over and subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything that we post. Now don't forget to go to southernmeetsmennonite.com today and get those free printable labels so that you can use it to decorate your table. Special thanks to my assistants today, girls. You did an awesome job. High five. High five. High five. They've taste tested everything, so we're gonna go and dig in. All right, guys, can you tell them happy 4th of July? Happy July. Happy July. See you next time. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>